What's going on NFL fans? Hopefully you enjoyed the wild card with the Raiders and the Texans. I know I predicted that the Raiders would win this game. Um, you guys can go check out the video. I'm going to see if I can put the description uh, in the, um, I'll put the link in the description so you guys can see it. Because I don't back off of what I thought because like I said, it's always predictions. But this game went haywire real quick. And I want to touch on a lot of different things that I spoke about in the past. Because a lot of you guys that watch my videos went crazy on me when I said that, you know, I, I called Michael Crabtree a bitch because he didn't do anything after his chain was snatched. And I wasn't talking about like, going up to him and really trying to fight. Obviously, I know it's a National Football League, and I know Talib did something that was, you know, was possibly, you know, it's shunned. Like, you shouldn't do it. But the bottom line is, it was done. And you have to react somewhere. It, it, look, when I'm talking about him reacting, I'm going with the history of the Raiders. I'm not trying to say, oh, yeah, you know, a lot of people make comments. Oh, yeah, that's why people of color are always in jail. So, it has nothing to do with the streets. It's on the field because Talib is trying to show you that Michael Crabtree is a bitch. So if he's trying to show you that, it's all about, it, it, it's like if you watch reality, reality TV. You know it's not real, but they put on a show. So he has to put on a show. I do not think he would have gotten suspended. We can debate that all day. We've seen a lot of things go on in the NFL. I don't think they know what Talib is about. They would have reviewed it. It is no way Talib, I mean, uh, Michael Crabtree would have been suspended for the game against the Texans in the playoffs. So people can debate. We can debate that all day. The bottom line is he went out with a concussion. He was non existent. His only big play was an offensive pass interference. Um, when he went out, Holmes came in and did his job. Maybe they should have just had Holmes in the entire time. I know Raiders fans are probably saying that because Connor Cook is garbage, but you know, he came, you know, he, he had a little bit of run with, with, um, with him at the end of the game with Holmes. So just I just wanted to touch base on that because Jadavion Connolly, first of all, that interception was just crazy. Okay, because the dude is a D lineman or whatever, a linebacker. And for his concentration, once I saw that interception and I heard the crowd, I knew it was over. I, it's just something about the game because I thought that the Raiders defense would be able to contain the Texans enough. But Miller went off. You know what I'm saying? Osweiler didn't play bad. One rush, one pass and touchdown. You know what I'm saying? Like, those things, and, and like I told you in the video, I, I said this to you guys also, DeAndre Hopkins is a beast. If you get him going, um, you know, it's going to end a certain way, and it's not going to be in favor of you. Plus, they have the number one defense. I knew all that. I just didn't think that Osweiler would make enough plays. I didn't think that he would manage the game the way that he did, and I was wrong about that. He did what he had to do, and the Texans defense showed up. You know, a rookie quarterback that I think he was the first rookie quarterback to ever start in the playoffs, and they, they, they rattled him. You know what I'm saying? Merciless was very, very, mer he, he had no mercy. So it, it was a very uh, dominant game. Jadavian Clowney outright just took over the game. Uh, it was good to see J.J. Watt looking like he could move around. I, um, they said during the game that he was cleared for uh, NFL activity, so that's a good sign for the Texans going forward. But the Raiders now, uh, a lot of people made a good point that even with Derek Carr, they did struggle against the Texans. Okay, obviously, you know, they do have the number one defense, but... I think that they win this game if Carr plays, but Carr didn't play. That's a wrap. We, we can't talk about if and when and all that kind of stuff like that. We're talking about reality. The bottom line is everybody that defended Michael Crabtree, he did have a new chain on in this game. He was non-existent. So I could argue that it would have been better if he didn't play and you had home start because home seemed to get open all the time. And a lot of you guys are going to say, yeah, you know what? It was probably garbage time. No, it wasn't. It was early. It was early on in the fourth quarter where they still was in the game. They could have, you know, they were making plays. Jonathan Joseph didn't want no parts of big homes. Okay. He didn't want no parts of them. Those corners can play. You know, um, the defense overall is looking really, really good for the Texans. Um, you know, I'm going to do my, um, my predictions later in the week about what's going to happen when they go where they're going. And I'm going to let you guys know what I'm feeling about it. But I'm going to tell you this right now. I can't back off the fact that historically Michael Crabtree is not a Raider. And I'm listen, I'm you guys gotta understand something again. When I'm talking about the NFL, for all these internet thugs and these these guys that just be typing crazy, oh yeah, bro, you just saying what you would have done. Listen, guys, I don't need to act like all yo, oh yeah, I would have done this and done that. I know what I would have done. You guys know what you would have done. A lot of you guys that are typing and got your Frito Lays next to you and your math fat in your mom's basement, a lot of you guys are just, you know, you guys are keyboard warriors. I'm telling you right now, if you're on TV, it's all about show. So Talib is trying to put on a show. He's trying to embarrass you. You can't be a Raider and when your chain gets snapped, you start pointing at the ref and tell, you know, yo, ref, help me. You can't do that. 
That's all I was saying. I'm not asking them to go out there and turn into Tupac, bring a gun out, start shooting on the field. That's, that doesn't make any sense. I'm saying you have to, a lot of you guys are saying, yeah, it was a business decision. Let me ask you a question. If you're walking on the street right now and somebody slaps you across the face, what are you going to do? Call 911 or retaliate? A lot of you guys are going to say call 911 because you're not built for that kind of life. It, it doesn't matter if you're a man or woman. It, initially, your instinct is going to take over. You're going to retaliate. You're going to either try to slap him back, grab him down. You're going to try to do something. Michael Crabtree did not react. He's not a Raider. That's what I'm saying. If he comes back to the Raiders, I'm telling. Listen, he's not going to get a lot of fan. He's not going to get a lot of love. It's not going to work. And that's what my point was. And I'm not going to respond to your comments when it's just so stupid. Like you guys don't get what I'm saying. You cannot visibly. When something happens and the world can see, you can know the, the insides of what a person is. For instance, there, there were a lot of personal foul calls yesterday in the other game. I'm going to get to that. Check out my next video. That's going to be coming soon with the Seahawks and the Lions. People retaliated and it's inside of the game. They're not worried about getting booed. If somebody does something to you, you react immediately. You're not thinking, like, oh, you know what? Uh, I got to cash my check. Let me, um, you know, let me figure this out real quick. Yo, let me call my accountant right here on my, on my headphones inside my helmet. No, Michael Crabtree is not built for this life. That's what I'm trying to tell you. When you're a Raider, you don't go to the Raiders unless you have some grittiness to you. And people don't really do that to the Raiders historically. You know what I'm saying? Like, just think about the Raiders. This is what this is a team that people didn't need. Yo, their fans, I love them because they come in there, they gully. If you're from California and you're a Raiders fan, throw, yo, throw it up. You guys know what I'm talking about. The Raiders fans are some of the most loyal, and yo, these dudes will beat the hell out of you while you're tailgating. That's what the Raiders are. The Raiders are a gritty organization. They have been since I can remember. All the time growing up, you you didn't want to mess with the Raiders. Now you got a guy on the team. That softened tissue paper wet. You can't have that. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Listen, I don't want Michael Crabtree to go and turn into Triple X like he's Vin Diesel, start sliding off planes, coming down with guns. I don't want all that. All I want him to do, shove him. Like, yo, let him break it up. You shoved him. All right, so yo, you retaliate. All right, he wasn't scared. It's a, it, it's a lot about perception. Like a lot of people, you know, like these rappers that when they get caught, they go to jail. And if you get, if you see the footage, they're crying when the judge tells them that they got to go to jail. It's all about show all their rap and all this stuff like that. When you get, when it's time for you to go do that time, you get to really know what, what somebody is. You get to know exactly what's going on. This is what I'm saying. So you guys can argue about Talib being a fake thug. He shot himself, all that stuff like that. All that stuff is hilarious. He reminds me of Plaxico Burris, but I'm not worried about that. What I'm saying is I never seen nobody do that to Plaxico Barris. So you're saying, what are you guys trying to say? You, you guys are trying to say that everybody's a businessman when they get disrespected? No. And it's not about being a person of color and everybody wants to run around using the N-word and, oh, yeah, that's why N-words are in jail. Bro, what are you talking about? It's the National Football League. You're still men. Even if it was the, even if it was the female football league, you think, I, watched, I watched these women play football. They're, they're tougher than a lot of these men out there, bro. Like, you're not going to put your hands anywhere near, you know, a, a, any of the, a female athlete, football player's face and try to snatch their chair. I'm telling you right now, it's going down. And that's all I'm saying. You, I'm not looking for a full bro. When was the last time you seen a full bro with everything cleared out? This is not hockey. I'm just saying, you see retaliation. You see somebody come out. You see somebody do something. Because if you're part of an organization that, that, their whole premise is grittiness and ruggedness. You can't come out and do that. That's all I'm saying. I'm not trying to make the man turn into the next coming of Jet Li, mix with Bruce Lee, come out, do a roundhouse kick. I'm not asking for all of that. All I'm saying is that you, Jadavian Clowney outright just straight bitch these guys and they're the Raiders. At the end of the day, I'm not a Raiders fan. I got friends in California that are freaking thrown up in their mouth right now, but I'm not a Raiders fan. And all of the people I spoke to that are Raiders fans hate Michael Crabtree at this moment. He's, he didn't come back to the game, concussion protocol, all that stuff. His only play was for the other team with an offensive pass interference. So I'm not trying to justify anything else. I was wrong with this pick. I picked the Raiders. But listen, at the end of the day, it's a prediction. So I'm not going to step back away from it. Oh, yeah, whatever. No. I, I felt the Raiders had enough because Osweiler sucks. And he still sucks. I don't care if he had a good game. You'll see what I'm talking about soon. That defense destroyed the Raiders. It was the defense that won this game, even though he had a rushing touchdown and a pass touchdown. Where did he start all his plays? Where was he? Because of the Texans' defense. The defense showed out, 
and it was led by this man, Jadavian Clowney. And I'm very proud of the guy. A guy that battled injuries, guy did all this kind of stuff, went through everything that people didn't believe in him and all that stuff like that. But when you rebound, look how fast everybody's jumping on the bandwagon again. You see what I'm saying? Now when JJ Watt comes back and they're dominant on the D-line, it's gonna be like, okay. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes, you know, things work out in the end. You just gotta be patient. But at the end of the day, in my opinion, Michael Crabtree is not a Raider. If you believe me, okay. Hashtag yes or hashtag no. Until next time, one love.